Do you guys remember when Bitcoin absolutely destroyed PC gaming? Prices on parts increased like 300% or more and it pissed off everybody, including me. So why am I bringing this up now? Because in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I get revenge on those people who ruined it for the rest of us. Easy everyone, every dragon has a weak spot. Says who? Honestly, that's what you get for being cocky. This is Raid Shadow Legends, and it's actually one of the most immersive games I've ever played on a smartphone, and it is completely free. It's an RPG-styled game, and it has all of the elements of an RGB game that you can expect. An amazing storyline, great graphics, boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions. So yes, if you're looking for another waifu, she's here. And Raid's special launch tournament is actually going on right now, so if you go to the download link in my description, you will get 50,000 silver immediately, and you will be entered into the tournament. The prizes include a lot of in-game bonuses, as well as physical prize packs. There's t-shirts and all other kinds of stuff, so make sure you download the game. For those of you that don't know or don't remember, there was a period of time where all you had to do to get your hands on some Bitcoin was download some software, buy a graphics card, and set it up to mine some Bitcoin. Everybody wanted to do it, and for good reason. Bitcoin is worth an obscene amount of money. Now, the process was a little bit more complicated than I just made it out to be, but truth be told, a complete beginner who had no idea on how to even build a computer could have set up their own Bitcoin mining rig if they really wanted to in like one to two days. So what were the consequences of that? Well, obviously there was an insanely high demand for all of the parts that could create these Bitcoin mining rigs, which in turn drove up the prices of parts by a lot. Graphics cards that retailed for $200 started to cost over $600, and there were even some graphics cards that started to cost over $1,000. Like I said before, everybody, including myself, was pissed. If you were in the market to build a computer and you just wanted to play some games or use it for something else other than Bitcoin mining, your entire computer would cost less than your graphics card. It didn't even matter if you tried to buy used on Craigslist because everyone started charging a premium for anything that even resembled a graphics card. So now you might be asking, how do we get revenge on these people? Well, if you know anything about Bitcoin mining today, then you would know that it's pretty much impossible to turn a profit while doing it. So it's pretty common to see people selling their now inactive mining rigs to try and make some money off of it. And me, being the grudge holding person that I am, I wait. I wait, look through all the ads until I smell desperation. I wait for that raw desire that drives someone to sell their parts at an ungodly low rate. And today on OfferUp, we found our target. I found an ad for some RX 580, RX 480, and R9390 graphics cards. Now, how do I know this is a mining listing? Well, when the whole mining apocalypse first started, these were the most popular go-to cards to start getting into it. So the fact that this guy has so many of them is a dead giveaway. He didn't have an exact price on this listing, so when I asked him what he was looking for, he gave me a number way under retail and even lower under the usual used asking rate. So I have a feeling that if I can look this dude in the eye, I'm gonna get it for even lower. So now that we're caught up to speed, let's make some moves. I don't know if you, what you got plans from like mining or, or No, nah, not mining, Poten potentially secondhand systems for okay. gaming. Cars. Okay, cool, wow. So these, so this is an, uh, a 580. Right. This is a 580. Right. Okay, let me see the... And then, which ones are the uh, 480s? These are the 480s, the, the white ones. Okay. Yeah, so this one... Okay. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll set this. There, yeah. Okay, so I'm definitely interested in those, the 580s. Okay. And then, that's a 480, and there are six of these in total. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So what are your prices on the 580s? Um, I'd go like 40 bucks on each one of these. Okay. And then... Um, and then these ones, I was wanting to get like, I'd go down to like 80 bucks on those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 80 bucks for the two of those. Um, what do you, What's your prices on the 390s? Are they all the same for all three? Yeah, yeah. So then what, what would your price be on these, the 390s? Um, 40 bucks again on that. 40 bucks, okay. Like I, I give you the three, uh, the three 390s, um, I give you 100 bucks for those. 100 bucks for three 390s? Yeah. All right, shit. I mean, I can't say no to that. <laughs> okay. So, 100 on these, 80 on that. So, 180. Let's see. If you can do 
two of them at 60 each, I'll take two. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's see. So 80, 100, 300. Cool. 300 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Sick. One, two, three. Perfect. Easy. Cool. Good deal. Awesome. Appreciate it. Well, sick. I look forward to playing with them. Cool. I'll uh, mess with them as soon as I get home. I appreciate cool. it, man. Thank you so much. So now that we have all the cards, let me show you exactly how good of a deal this is. Two MSI Armor RX 480s retailing at $160 each. Three R9 390s of varying brands. Now it's hard to find a good retail price for these cards because they are quite a bit older and they're not usually sold. And the pricing online is very different if you check it out for yourself. Um, but an appropriate price, considering the performance of these cards is similar to a GTX 1060, would be $100 at retail price. And then lastly, we have two Red Devil RX 580s, both retailing at $205 each. So the total retail value of this purchase is $1,030. Not bad considering we only paid $300. Now, obviously these cards are not gonna go anywhere near their retail value of over $1,000. And if I had to give an honest evaluation, these cards would probably sell closer to $620 if I got rid of all of them. So assuming that everything works, we have made easily over double our money. Now the key word there is if, and there is definitely one thing we really need to be scared of if the guy we bought these cards from really was a hardcore miner. I don't explain it really well, so I'm gonna let my friend Chris from Coalition Gaming learn you really quickly. Hey everyone, so most electronic devices have a chip that controls the basic functionality of how that device works. Most people know this from motherboards known as the BIOS. On a graphics card, we call it the V-BIOS, which, uh, Makes sense. When it comes to cryptocurrency mining though, miners would alter the VBIOS in a way that maximizes crypto profitability, but lowers gaming performance, and in some cases prevents the card from working altogether. And in those cases, to fix a mining card, the default VBIOS needs to be reset back to factory stock. So in order to do that, you'll need to make use of a tool called ATI WinFlash if you have an AMD card, or NV Flash if you have an Nvidia card. It's a simple process when all is said and done, and information on what you need to get this done along with step-by-step -step guides will be linked in the description below. There are also helpful video guides all over YouTube so if you run into any roadblocks a quick search will get you on your way. Again that is Chris from Coalition Gaming and if you're not already subscribed to him you should be. He is literally the nicest guy that I know. Anyways so now that we're aware of the risks when it comes to buying these cards let's test them and see how we did. I just played dominoes with f***ing graphics cards. Okay. All right, so we have our testing area set up now. And for those of you guys that remember, this is actually the don't buy a computer from Best Buy computer that was shown in a previous video. And the card that is actually in there is an MSI Armor RX 580, which I did not mention in that previous video, was also a mining card. And I did actually have to flash the VBIOS to get this card to work again. So I feel like this, of all computers, is gonna be the most appropriate one to simulate this test for us. So first card we're testing is one of the RX 580s. Oh, be lucky right off the bat. The lights are lighting up, that's a good sign. If the LEDs work. Yes, okay, let's see it. Okay, so good news. At the very least, this card works. So now we're gonna see what kind of VBIOS is on the card. Hopefully it's the default one. Okay, so to confirm what VBIOS we have on this card, we're actually gonna be using a software called CPU-Z. I mentioned in a previous video and just by name dropping it, people all of a sudden started accusing me of being sponsored. Um, no, what this software does is actually just tells you the name of the parts you have in your computer. And if this BIOS is correct, 
then it should tell us in the software that we're using an RX 580. Go to the graphics tab. All right, it says right here, we are using a Radeon RX 580. I know you guys can't see it, so I'm gonna try to take a little picture here on my phone, but so far we're looking good. One of the cards works, it's one of our more expensive cards, retails for 205. I think I can sell it for 120 as a part of that whole $620 estimate. So off to a great start. All right, next up is our second RX 580. And if both of them work, I will be extremely happy because those are our biggest, most expensive priced cards. LED light comes on, fan spin. Let's go! Okay, so far it looks like we're two for two. Okay, and according to CPU-Z, this is also an RX 580, so we are looking good so far. All right, so next up is one of our first R9390s. Now, for those of you that don't know too much about this card, these are actually really powerful, and if you ever find any, you'll see that their heat sinks are super thick. I'm talking with like five Cs. The reason I say that is because these cards, while they are powerful, despite their old age, they're also really, really hot. If you've ever seen any of those videos on like cooking an egg on my graphics card, this would be one of the candidates to do that. These things get super, super, super toasty, but uh, they at least put out some decent performance. So uh, if this thing works used, I'm pretty sure I can get it for 80 bucks. Yeah, I would safely say 80 bucks for something like this. Lights are on, fans are spinning. Let's go, dude, I'm so... Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was almost hoping to get scammed a little bit here, but things are turning out really well. According to CPU-Z, this is a, yes, R9 390. Everything is good. We are three, four, three. All right, up next is our second R9 390. Fan spinning. Oh, <laughs> it's so easy. Yep, R9 390. Four, four, four. By the way, if you're wondering why the screen will occasionally flash black when I put in a new graphics card, it's because the computer is trying to find the right drivers for the graphics card. So no need to be alarmed, the cards do work. Besides, if anything, I should be alarmed. It's my money. All right, and this is our last R9390. And spin. <laughs> yes. I think this one's probably gonna do the same. Oh, it's not. No, it just went in right away, cool. CPU-Z says, R9390, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so we are five for five. And as we stand, I believe we're looking at $480 easily. 80 for each of the R9390s and 120 for the RX 580s. And that, that is a modest, a humble selling point. Okay, so I just checked the uh, last two pieces of footage and realized that the camera corrupted two of the files. So uh, let me fill you in on what you missed really quickly. It's no big deal, it's something small. It's uh, just one of the graphics cards caught fire. And I don't have that to put in the video now. Son of a... Uh, there is a little bit of proof, uh, but this is the card. One of the RX 480s. Uh, as you saw in the previous shot, there were two here. We actually have one in the system now, it works. One of the fans don't spin on it. I will show you that right now in a close up. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna affect the performance of this card. Obviously, it'll get hotter, but I could probably take one of the fans off here and replace it. But this is the card that caught fire. Um, it shot sparks right out through this little heat sink pipe right there. And uh, there is a little bit of proof. There are some black sparks or dirt, whatever, that came out of this graphics card after it caught fire in the computer. I'll show you that right now. It's not the best for it, but here, look. You see that, this black stuff right here? That's that's all from the uh, graphics card. Kinda shitty, so uh, we didn't end up going seven for seven on all the graphics cards, but you know what? Most of them work. We're gonna turn a profit. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this card. Cause like I said before, only one of the fan spin. So right there on the right, that one's doing its job. This one over here is about as stubborn as my little sister. All in all, we have a pretty good deal. I would say $480 plus this halfway working RX 480, I would say we are easily gonna make a little over $500 for this whole thing. So definitely worth it. A great, great investment, I think. And uh, you know what? It was a lot of fun. Uh, I, <laughs> I enjoyed the uh, the gamble of this. Sorry that the footage got corrupted for the <laughs> on fire graphics card. I wish you guys could have seen it. I'm not happy with it either. Would I advise that you guys do something like this? Uh, 
you know, maybe it's fun. It's definitely a little bit of a gamble and the odds are typically, I found with buying used mining cards, cause this is not the first time I've done this, is that for the most part they work. Now, like I said before, and like Chris touched on earlier in the video, you will more than likely have to reflash some cards. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but honestly, once you learn it, it's really, really simple. I hope that you guys found a new way to make some money if you're interested in doing this kind of thing. I know people sell mining cards for really cheap. So if you're hungry, the opportunity is out there. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video entertaining, creative, or informative in any way, shape, or form. And as always, have a great day.